सो हेलो गाइज एंड वेलकम बैक टू फ्लटर मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन डेवलपमेंट सीरीज सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव लर्न हाउ टू क्रिएट द डेवलपमेंट एनवायरमेंट फॉर डेवलपिंग द फ्लटर एप्लीकेशन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू एक्सटेंड दैट टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट आवर वेरी फर्स्ट फ्लटर मोबाइल एप्लीकेशन एंड देन वी विल टेस्ट दैट क्रिएटेड एप्लीकेशन ऑन एंड्रॉयड सिमुलेटर ऑन क्रोम ब्राउजर एंड अदर कनेक्टेड डिवाइसिस एज वेल so if you are new to our channel then it is a request to please subscribe to our channel because we have been bringing a lot of free courses material and content for you so stay tuned and watch the video till the end so guys there are different ways to create your very first flutter application project that are complex one and you have to remember a lot of commands and a lot of content for this but i will present a very simple way of creating your first flutter application project and to test this uh, flutter project in vs code so let's open the vs code and uh, let's create our very first project so we are seeing uh, the basic interface of visual studio code and from the view select command palette and from here search for flutter and you will see flutter new project click on it so it will ask what type of application you want to create so we are going to create application and now select the directory where you want to save your project so for the moment i am okay with the desktop directory and from here i can give the name for my flutter application so for the moment i will give my first app and press enter so vs code will take some time so from here yes i trust the authors so now vs studio will take some time to create the flutter project for you let's wait a while so guys our first flutter application project is created now let's explore the anatomy of the project so you can see on the left on the navigation pan of the vs code we can see a lot of files and directories listed in our navigation view so from here you can see the android directory so this directory contains all the files and the folder for our android native application and in the same way we can see the ios so ios directory contains the xcode project or the ios application project and all files related to it so in the lib folder we are actually going to see our main application files so we will write our code in the lib by using the dot dot file and this file will make the ui as well as the functionality of our application So in the same way we have the Linux, Mac OS, web directories which contains the files or folder related to that corresponding project. So from here metadata and packages we do not need to touch these files because uh, Flutter use these uh, files for it. And from here you can see the pubspec.yaml file. So this file is very important. This file contains the configurations, the name of our application, the SDK which we are going to use and the images and the fonts and the assets which are going to be used in our application. So the code is commented. So whichever category you want to use, for example, you want to use an image, you just have to uncomment it and give the location of the image that image will be used in our Flutter application. So guys, our first application project is created so it's time to test our flutter application so first of all we are going to see what kind of devices currently available to test the application so on the bottom right hand side we can see here no device so when we are going to click on it it will list all the available devices for testing our application so we can test our application on chrome browser on edge browser on windows desktop tool it means that your application will run as a desktop tool or software just like that and in the same way we can test our application on android emulator we just have created in our previous application 
So for the moment, I will test my application on each of available device. But first of all, I am interested in running my application on Android emulator. So it is mandatory to launch the Android emulator. So I will give you a simple and easy trick to uh, run your application on Android emulator. For this, just uh, launch the Android Studio. We just have installed in the previous video. So Android Studio just has launched uh, the application project we just have created in our previous video just for the sake of uh, running the Android emulator. So let's wait a while until our project is ready. But before that, let me check if I can be able to run my emulator. So here you can see the AVD manager or in your latest Android Studio, you can see here the device manager. So both are fine. I will click on and AVD manager. This is the old version. And from here you can launch and play the Android emulator. But if you are using the latest version, you will see here the device manager and you will see all your Android emulator on right hand side. And from there you can simply press this play button uh, so that it will launch the Android emulator. So that it will launch the Android emulator and uh, making your application ready to run on the Android emulator. So for the moment, I will close the Android Studio and will close all things related to Android project. And the purpose was just to launch uh, the Android emulator. So from here, now let's come to the devices. So select this Nexus 5 API 30 mobile Android emulator. And from here, lib, right click on this file, main.dart and from here select run without debugging. Let's wait a while until our project is built and ready to be run on our Android emulator. So you can see here the background task which are going to happen here. So guys, you can see here our application is running on our Android emulator. So you will be wondering that every time Android emulator will take so much time to run and uh, test our application. The simple answer is no. So it will take this time for the first time. And later on when you will uh, do the changes in the project, it will automatically will be loaded into the application to make the process very fast. From here, we can see here, this is a simple uh, ready-made application, the Flutter template. And we can simply press this increment button here and our application is running and incremented. So on the right top side, we can see this application is being running in our debug mode. We are okay with our Android emulator testing. Now we'll close this Android emulator. So it's time to run my and test my application in another device. So from here, click on this devices tab. And from here, we will select the Chrome web and simply write on the main door that file and click run without debugging. Again, it will take some time to run and test your application on web browser. So let's wait a while. So meanwhile, we can see the status of task being performed. So it is launching the Chrome browser in debug mode. So guys, you can see here our Flutter project just has launched our Chrome browser and the same application which was running on Android emulator is being run on our web browser. So this is now the web application. So this is the power of Flutter. You are going to make your application for Android, iOS, web, Windows and other operating system at the same time with the same code base. So now let's check this and it is giving us the same behavior just uh, as we just have created with our Android emulator. And it is also being run in our debug mode. So in the same way, you can test and run your application for different devices as well.
So guys, hope you have enjoyed the video. So in the next video, we are going to test our application in the real Android phone device. So that will take some extra steps. So that's why it is covered in separate video. So stay tuned and keep on watching and please like share our video, comment on our video and subscribe to our channel.